Okay, uh, this video is for anyone who's run into a, a similar problem. Uh, we had this floor laid down about six years ago, and the mortar was most likely the problem. It, was, it must have been too dry or the wrong product used. And as you can see, I popped up all the tiles out of, out of 120 tiles that I took up. Uh, I only lost like two or three to cracking. Uh, there was no adhesion on the back. As you can see, I got a stacks of tile over here. You can just see the backs of them. I mean, there's just, there's just very little adhesion to them. Stacks over here, stacks in the back room. But um, what, I, uh, what I wanted to show you was on them, you know, I, the floor was um, too expensive to just throw it out and redo. So I wanted to come up with a way to get this mortar off. Uh, looking online, I'm sure there's, there, there were other ways and uh, and I'm sure there might even be better ways, but what I found, you can see the spot that I just done over here, uh, gets it right down to the hardy backer. Uh, what I did was I took a, just went to Harbor Freight and grabbed a Chicago electric grinder uh, with a Bosch head on it. And just to keep it level, keep it level with the work, I put a 2x4 under there and strapped it on. I put, you can see a little little bit of rubber that I put underneath there to, to, to squeeze it a little better so it wouldn't come loose on me and I added my um, my shop vac to it just a basic Home Depot style shop vac I'll flip it over here so you can see so the block of wood just floats and uh, and this is the type of um, of bit that I'm using for it right now and then I built a little added skirting to it so that to try to catch to try to catch as much of the dust as I can. I'll tell you, I'll warn you right now, this is makes a dust bowl no matter what, even if you catch 50% of it at best, um, it makes a mess. So if you want to talk about prep, uh, just real quick, you can see I just went ceiling uh, to floor in any area that I could. I have a double, double wall of plastic sealing the floor. But you have to have, you know, I put a fan blowing out. This really makes a big difference. It draws the air, but you have to have makeup air too. So in each of the, um, in each of the uh, areas where I have this, or else it might just suck the visqueen right off the wall, as I put, um, you can see my little telltale here flapping in the wind, just for a place to go through. If I'm working tight in this area and there's going to be a lot of dust here, I could block that one off temporarily and then let it come in the others. But... Uh, just had some old 8 inch insulated uh, pipe. You could use anything, even uh, PVC or something. But you can just see it has a nice flow coming in. Um, I also have one back here going into this room here. You can see, just see the nice, nice flow here. It takes it relieves the pressure off of the plastic and limits how much uh, dust can get out of the room also. So um, more or less that's it. Uh, I'd, I'd operate it for you, but uh, but you, you can see you can see the result. It's just really nice, nice and uh, smooth down to the on, down to the hardy back. You can see all the heads of the screws showing. Uh, you might have to adjust it. All I did was add a little bit of tape to the bottom to raise it up just a hair. But uh, I'd say what I did here, this spot here, I did in maybe uh, 15, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes with setup. So um, good luck to you. Bye.